Right now, I am in Howard County, Nebraska, in the county seat, St. Paul. The town is almost 150 years old and has roughly a population of 2,290. Right now, I'm going to give you five reasons why you should come to St. Paul, Nebraska. Everybody who I've talked to has told me that there's one main place that I gotta go to for breakfast in St. Paul, and that is the cookie jar place, AKA the sweet shop. I asked the waitress exactly how many there were. 1,704 cookie jars. She said 1,702 and then she changed to 1,704 because they just got two new ones because they're still adding more. When I say that there's like every single kind of cookie jar that you can imagine, I mean there is every single kind of cookie jar you can imagine. Christmas cookie jars, cookie cookie jars, McDonald's cookie jars, Looney Tunes cookie jars. If you're in St. Paul or even if you're not in St. Paul, if you just like wanna be driving through, you definitely gotta stop here. Okay. Time to go eat. <laughs> so I can genuinely say, for your cookie jar needs or for your hungry for breakfast and lunch needs, the, uh, the sweet shop, definitely the place to go. Given that I just ate and I'm currently stuffed, I think I'm gonna hold off on other food things until later in the day. Right now, it is a gorgeous day in St. Paul and I wanna see where I can go to shop. Things in this store keep stealing the title of the coolest thing that I found in the store. Look at this big pink and blue wooden dragonfly. But I can promise you that no pharmacy that I've ever been to has had a train going around the top of it. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, Sam, you've showed me clothing, you've shown me knickknacks, where do I get my toy tractors? Well, we got a whole selection of them right here. Now, I know what you're thinking, you're going, Sam, I'm going on an ice expedition and I don't have any tools. Well, let me tell you, right here, boom. I know what you're thinking, Sam, the metal owl that I keep in my garage is getting lonely and I need to buy him a friend. Well, look who we got right here. The clothing store's been here almost a hundred years. Isn't that crazy? Be honest with me. What do you think? It's like when you it's like when you buy running shoes, how you run around the store. This is what you do with you. Buy cowboy boots. This store is so much larger than it looked from the front, but the amount of stuff they have here, I'm impressed with the quality and I'm impressed with the variety. One of the things that's been most surprising to me is that I think I had this preconceived notion that because this town has 2,300 people, that you would have to drive to a larger city to get stuff, but every store that I've been into has significantly more stuff to offer than I thought it was going to. Every store has given me kind of a surprise of something I didn't think it was gonna have, or. I'm impressed with the variety of stuff that they have. I'm just really impressed with the amount of stuff that you can shop for in this town. I've worked up quite an appetite. I think it's about time to go to the county cage. The cage, the county, the burger, pizza, cage. It's time to go eat. Okay, so this is technically a bar, but the food here is apparently really good. And just looking at the menu, they call they actually actually call sandwiches, sandwiches. Big fan. Guys, ketchup, mustard. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna skip the cinematic footage because this looks really good and I want to eat it. it. Smells really good too. Now that I've eaten, it's time to talk about one of the biggest things that St. Paul has to offer: activities. Isn't that a cool car? Cool car. Nice. Even though St. Paul is small in size, it's full of fun things to do. If there's one thing that people of St. Paul love, it's going outside and having a good time. 
and they sure do love their sports. We're not going to talk about how long that shot took me to make. What we are going to talk about is the St. Paul Country Club. It was founded in 1956 and it's one of the nicest courses in all of central Nebraska. I've played a lot of Wii golf, haven't played as much actual golf, but I can tell you as a now experienced golfer from that putt, this place is really cool. As fun as the golfing is to do, what is equally fun is driving around the golf carts. I've been driving a real car for about six years now. I have my own car. And let me tell you, no amount of real driving compares to the fun of driving one of these things around. <laughs> now I would love to keep driving this thing around, but it's getting mighty hot out here. I'd say we need to cool off. Let's go. Would you believe a bunch of the local lads have my GoPro? I'm sitting here There is nothing that makes you feel more like a kid again than going to a water park. I don't care who you are, I don't care what age you are, if you come to a water park, you feel like a kid again. This, right here, is the St. Paul Water Park. And this is totally more than I expected from a water park in the middle of town. Obviously, at a water park, everybody's having a good time, but additionally, I'll say everybody is being very, very nice to the foreigner who's walking around talking to a camera. After a long afternoon of chasing St. Paul youth who have my GoPro around the pool, which is right over there, I might add, I'm coming right here to Loop River Distillery for a quick drink. <sighs> Loop River Distillery is St. Paul's local drinkery. Drinkery? What's the word? I guess the word is distillery. They grow and make all of their stuff in the area and every drink that you get has the stuff that it's made from made right here in St. Paul. Let me tell you something, I have absolutely no idea what this thing does, but it looks very cool and it fits the aesthetic very well. I don't know if you can see those swing sets over there. Boom, that's my next stop. Now that we're talking about things to do in St. Paul, I have to mention the festivals that they have every single year. There's Junk Jaunt, the Howard County Fair, and luckily enough for me, I came during GCA Days. GCA Days honors Grover Cleveland Alexander, the Hall of Fame baseball player who hails from Howard County. It's the biggest weekend of the year in St. Paul, when people from all around Nebraska come to enjoy all the fun activities. We got a parade of tractors. It's a nice car. I'm at the drag races. For dinner time here in St. Paul, the place that has been recommended to me more than any other is the winery that they have just outside of town. Just looking around, I can't speak on the food just yet, but it is absolutely gorgeous. They got the vineyard right next to it. They got just gorgeous views around the whole thing.
genuinely this is the kind of view that you could expect from like Napa Valley and you're getting it here. This is awesome. This is gorgeous. Wholeheartedly recommend the food and wholeheartedly even more recommend the gorgeous view. Now that I'm done with dinner, it's time to check out some St. Paul nightlife. So since I've been at GCA days, everybody's been telling me about the street dance. I'm finally here. They've sectioned off a whole block here. We got a live band on the other side. The thing I'm most excited about is that while I was shopping the other day, I found a very important item. I realized that I had to look my Nebraska best for the street dance, so uh, that looks about right. Okay, so I thought I knew how to dance. All these people, they're like dancing in a line and they're doing the same thing. It's like I'm in a musical. They just all break out into the same dance and it's all choreographed. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. Get the cowboy hat thing. It's hot out here. One of the things that I've realized in my time here is that St. Paul has a lot of personality. The town just has a certain feel to it. It has a lot of character. The town's motto is batting a thousand, so if you can't tell, St. Paul has a particular affinity for baseball. In addition to their relationship with Grover Cleveland Alexander, St. Paul is also home to the Museum of Nebraska Major League Baseball. Okay viewers, you watching at home right now, I want you to guess how many bats there are inside of the Nebraska Baseball Hall of Fame. Go. How many bats are there? No clue. I'm gonna go count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and a half. You should come down here yourself and see if I miscounted. When I heard that they had a Nebraska Baseball Hall of Fame, I assumed it was going to be kind of just a collection of baseball type stuff, but the detail that's in this museum. Nebraska Baseball Hall of Fame, dressed to impress. Now that I'm suited up in my baseball tee, I am headed to my next destination, which is the Howard County Historical Village. about this historical village to me is that it feels like a slice of history, like a literal block of history, and it's just in the middle of town. Like That is the water tower that I've been seeing all around town, and this little historical village with a church and a train car and an old post office and a blacksmith is just right in the middle of it all. For those visitors who might not want to walk around our one block historical village, we have an authentic stage coast right here to take you along your way. up there, it says 1871. This building was built out of stone in 1871 when the original building that was there, which was made out of wood, burned down. Now that same year, 1871, that that building was built, there was a drawing out of a hat to determine what the town's name was going to be. The name drawn out of the hat was Athens, Athens, Nebraska. Now seeing as there already was an Athens, they decided to pick a different name out of the hat and they chose St. Paul, after the Paul brothers that founded the town. 50 years after that, in 1921, 
these bricks, these exact same bricks, were laid down to make the original streets of St. Paul. What I'm trying to say is that this small town, I can stand right here and see Main Street on the other end over there, has a lot of stuff packed into it. There's a lot of personality that this town has. And when you walk along the streets and go to the historical village and do all the stuff, you really get a feel for the town itself. I'm reaching the end of my time here in St. Paul, and the last thing that I want to talk about, the thing that really makes the town what it is, is the people. But you're just going to have to find that out for yourself. I promise there really is something special. You should come and visit. You really won't be disappointed. One, the people two, are pretty great. St. Paul!